السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون صدق الله العظيم O you who believe fasting during the month of Ramadan has been made compulsory upon you as it has been made compulsory upon people before you so that you may have piety taqwa god consciousness brothers and sisters here comes the long awaited guest which is ramadan today is monday and tomorrow insha allah fasting begins brothers and sisters what is fasting fasting is to keep yourself away from food drink and all prohibitions from the break of dawn until sunset with an initial intention of pleasing allah keeping away from food drink cohabitation with one's wife from the break of dawn until sunset with the intention of pleasing allah for the more all the limbs should fast the eyes should fast in keeping away from everything in not looking at evil the ears should fast in not listening to evil the tongue should fast in not talking or uttering bad language the limbs should fast in not engaging in anything that's evil whoever does this has fasted brothers and sisters this is an opportunity last ramadan many people attended today they are in their graves and we don't have any guarantee to be here next year so let's start tonight let us make our intentions the questioner may ask how do i make my intention you make your intention tonight that you would intend to fast the whole of ramadan and that would suffice for every day some would make intention on a daily basis but if you cannot make an intention on a daily basis make an intention that you would fast the whole of ramadan because the prophet said whoever fasted without making an intention his fast will not be accepted so tonight make an intention that you will fast the whole of ramadan and if at all there is a break in between in other words for whatever reason you are driven by necessity not to fast then in that case when you renew fasting renew your intention of fasting for the rest of the month if at all this is done properly towards the end of ramadan we are guaranteed forgiveness the prophet said man swama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbi whoever fast the month of ramadan with full faith expecting reward from allah all his past sins are forgiven brothers start the nawafil prayer tonight at least perform eight rakats that's the sunnah of the prophet and close it with three rakats of safa witr at least eight rakats then three additional one every night and if you happen to be performing the nawafil salah throughout ramadan towards the end of ramadan all your sins will be forgiven because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man qama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbi whoever stands in prayers during ramadan with full faith expecting reward from allah all his past sins are forgiven however busy you are do not go to bed until and unless you perform your nawafil salah in congregation if during the if if for whatever reason um you cannot go to the mosque lead your family in prayers so that you can have the reward of congregational prayer brothers and sisters 
This is the month of forgiveness. Let's seek forgiveness from Allah, but let's forgive each other for the sake of Allah. This is the month of generosity. If you feed a fasting person, you will have the same reward that he has without that diminishing anything from his reward. If you feed someone who fasts, according to the prophet, if you feed a fasting person, you will have the same reward that he has. Now let's, as, let's assume you're fasting and have fed about um, 100 people to break their fast. Whatever reward they have will be added to yours and that will not diminish anything from their reward. Someone asked the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, what charity is the best? He said, the charity of Ramadan. So brothers and sisters, let us dip our hands in our pockets and give that which we love for the sake of Allah. And in return, Allah Azza wa Jalla will multiply it manifold. A good deed performed in Ramadan is multiplied more, so many times compared to other months other than Ramadan. Brothers and sisters, this is the month wherein we were expected to multiply our ibadat in all forms. More so Quran, because Ramadan came to introduce Quran. Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. The month of Ramadan, Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will read the Quran to Jibril, the whole Quran throughout Ramadan. Brothers and sisters, some of our brothers, some of the pious predecessors, even, even in this present day, some would complete the whole of Quran three times, sorry, once every three days. So throughout Ramadan, some people would complete the whole Quran ten times. Some will even go more than that. Now, if you are among those who are able to read the Quran, join the competition and complete the whole Quran as many times as possible. If you cannot read the Quran at all, start, make a resolution and say, Insha'Allah, before the Ramadan finish, I will be able to recite the Quran by looking at it. This is the month of Quran. This is the month of Tawbah. This is the month of invocation, Dua. Make Dua throughout the day, throughout the night. It is said that three prayers or du'as will never be rejected. And among them is the invocation of the du'a or the du'a of the person that has passed it. The fasting person's du'a will not be rejected. So let's make the most of this month in terms of du'a in terms of repentance, in terms of recitation of the Qur'an, in terms of dhikrullah. Allah said, فَذُكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَشْكُرُونِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونَ Remember me, I shall remember you. And be grateful to me, do not be an ingrate. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make it easy for all of us to fast Ramadan in a way that is pleasing to Allah. And may Allah Azza wa Jalla accept it from every one of us insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.